Alright guys, so today we start the project of redoing the way I have my gear storage set up in my pickup bed. So we're getting ready to mount a gas can. I've decided I think I want to put the gas can in the front right corner where I currently have my Milwaukee toolbox system. And I'll show you kind of why I picked that spot. So as you can see here, this setup was great for when I had a 31 inch tire, but now with the 34, there is not enough space for the toolbox to function as it should. So I'm actually no longer able to stack more on top of this box. This is the only one that I can get in here. And even this one only gets in here just barely. It has to come all the way up against the tire and kind of twist to get out. So that setup is not going to work anymore. I really like the Milwaukee toolbox system and I'm going to keep using it. So I think where I'm going to go with it is going to be right about there. So unfortunately, Let's see here. All right, sweet. So right there, we'll actually still work with the swing case. I didn't think it was going to. I like the swing case. So I'm gonna keep using that as long as I can. So this is gonna be the new location for my toolbox. And then in the future, if I want to add another one, I'd probably replace my swing case with another Milwaukee's stack. So we'll get going on this. I know I didn't do a full install for the plate and a couple of you guys asked for it. So you'll get to see me uninstall that plate and reinstall it right there. it's out so these uh the way i'm mounting this to the pickup bed is with rib nuts if you haven't seen them uh used before it basically it basically puts a nut into the pickup bed and makes it so that you can thread a bolt right into it i'm not going to drill those out or anything i think that one might work for my gas tank i don't know what the bolt pattern on that is going to look like but Either way, I'll leave those in there for now, and uh, we'll get on with mounting it in the new spot here. So this is where I wanted to put it, and I gotta kinda figure out how I'm gonna shift it to get holes to align where I can bolt them in at. You can see this here. I'm trying to line them up on, on top of the ridges. So that one's not in the right spot. That one's not in the right spot. This is my center of the pickup bed. So I really don't want to go over center because I want to be able to mount another one symmetrical to it later down the road. So I'd like to push it left and not right. Let's see if we line up this one on the center there. What that looks like. So now we have that and that lined up on center and yeah we can get uh we can get four corners so that'll work really well i'll uh i'll measure it up make sure it's all square i'll slide the box in and make sure it slides in and uh, then if it slides in all i'm going to do is use a drill bit the size of my holes and uh, make my center marks that way.
All right, so you can see here, there's my first mark. In each corner, I've uh, just used the tip of the drill bit to kind of center punch it into the, uh, the bed liner. Now I'm gonna get my riv nut out and see what size hole I need to drill. All right, so here is my riv nut on my bolt. If I remember correctly, a 3 8 hole wasn't big enough and I don't actually have a drill bit between 3 8 and half inch. So I'll double check, but I think I have to drill a half inch hole, which is a little bit bigger than you should. But that's the nice part about the rib nut tool that I use is it can, it can have a little bit of air. If you're using that, that nut, you can't have any air in that thing or uh, you won't get it to crimp. All right, so I'm gonna drill one 3 8 hole. I think I'm gonna have to do half inch, but rather be safe than sorry, right? You also wanna be careful, especially with this forward one, but with any of these holes really, without climbing under the truck and knowing exactly what's under the sheet metal, you don't wanna drill farther than you need to, just enough to get through the bed. is not big enough so we're gonna have to go to half inch what's the drill bit between three eighths and half inch seven sixteenths. I think I'm gonna go get myself a seven sixteenths drill bit. Clearly I should have done it before I drilled that one, but I would not recommend drilling these rib nut holes too big. I think I'm gonna be able to crimp that, but it should be a tighter fit than that. So I'm back from the store with the right drill bit, hopefully. We'll see if we can uh, a little better with this one. Now that is the proper size hole. Learn from my mistake. Metric 8 bolt, the rib nuts that I have for it, 7 16 is the right size hole, not half inch. holes drilled, we'll get our rib nuts installed. Of course, now it doesn't want to go in. Like I said, be careful with this hole. I believe I'm right above the gas tank. There we go. And just like that, have a nut in your pickup bed. Um, a lot of people would say I should be trying to paint the inside of these holes before I put these in and they're probably right. I probably should. Um, my, my, my head tells me that with the, uh, with the rib nut pinching that metal, it would take a long time to get any rust, but the proper way to do it would probably be to try to brush paint or spray paint the, uh, the metal in the hole that you drilled.
not too far. So now we're going to try to get this one that's a half inch hole. You guys get, will get to uh, see with me here how well it works. So, like I said, it does work, but don't do that. And now we will line our plate up and see how well it fits. Let me brush this out of here first. Oh, I forgot about this. These, uh, these holes actually aren't quite big enough for a metric eight, so I have to drill them out. Man, I am missing my attachment. One size smaller than this to fit this. So, uh, lucky for you guys, you get to watch me go to town with the ratchet. Now with these, you don't want to get them too tight. You just want to get them snug, because if you get them too tight, you can start spinning that riv nut, and then you can never get the riv nut out. Or the bolt out of the riv nut, I should say. All right, so that is real firm and good to go. That's it guys, these are really in easy to install into a pickup bed. You just gotta uh, get over that awful fear of drilling into the pickup bed, cause yeah, nobody likes doing that. All right, so there you have it guys, this project's, this part of the project is done. The plate is moved. We now have space for a gas can over there. But also, Two and three of my toolboxes there. Very sturdy. All right, thanks to the power of the internet, this is later the same day and I'm selling my swing case. I, uh, as soon as I installed that, that pack out system there, I was looking at that setup and I was like, you know, that would really look good with another one right next to it, symmetrical. And uh, I don't know, I like to jump the truck driving around every day this is fine here but it's not supported on the bottom and um, I did have it I did have it pull one of the screws out one time that I, I jumped the truck off the ground and the, the the weight coming down inside of here ripped this top screw out of the pickup bed um, so I got somebody that wants to buy it from me so you guys are gonna get to see me take this out of the pickup bed and then deal with covering up all the holes there's a bunch of bolts that this thing goes into the side of the bed with. You'll get to see me uh, take care of all those and then install another pack out right next to it. Let's go. Man, that was, that was real time for you guys. That has to be the fastest uninstall ever. The only thing I have to deal with now is 
this crappy half in riv nut that I have from this is the screw that ripped out and I tried to install a riv nut through this bracket so I didn't take this bracket off I tried to just leave it on and get the riv nut inside of it was a big mess as you can see there it didn't turn out very well the riv nuts like half installed sideways um, so I'm gonna see if I can drill this out and then I think I'm gonna go to Home Depot maybe do some stuff online figure out what I want to do with these holes here but uh, man I literally uninstalled that in like two minutes no joke So we got that cleaned up now. It's about uh, about a half inch, I believe. I'll see if I can find something to plug it. We'll paint it and plug it. If not, I'll just plug it. So I'm super excited to have that side of the bed back. Um, I like the panel that 589 has, the mole panel for that side. Um, so who knows, maybe I'll do my high lift jack on the other side. Now I have both sides of my bed available to mount stuff because I'm putting the toolboxes right in the middle. So the holes I put the rib nuts in, I did not paint, but these I'm definitely going to do my best to paint all of these because I'm just gonna find a plastic plug some sort of plastic push something to um, to plug all those with and uh, yeah we're gonna we're gonna do our best to get paint in there. So it is a little cold today. It's 45 degrees, which is a little colder than you should be spray painting. But it's also the warmest day we're gonna have in Wisconsin for probably the next two months. So I'm gonna supplement drying time and cold temperatures with a heat gun. Let me know how bad of an idea it is in the comments. All right, now that that's had a couple minutes to dry, we'll get on with uh, the second coat. I think it's going to be pretty noticeable. I think you're going to see the squares on the pickup bed where it was painted and not the same finish as the bed liner, but oh, oh well, it's an off-road truck. <laughs> see ya. All 
All right, so now I got all the tape taken off, like I figured it would be. Uh, definitely noticeable where the squares were that they were painted. Who knows, it might uh, might dry a little bit more clear, but you know what, I'm not really that worried about it. I think it, it looks fine, and somebody asked about it, well, I used to have a toolbox there, so. Yeah, now let's, uh, man, that's gonna look so sweet with two of them side by side there. I'm excited for this, guys. All right, that's it for this skip video, guys. I'm gonna save the second toolbox install and the gas can for another video, because this one's getting a little long. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I wanted to show all the steps um, in case any of you guys want to do this or if you guys are worried about drilling into your pickup bed. Trust me, I was too. The swing case, I actually had the dealer installed because the truck had a thousand miles on it and I was too scared to drill into the pickup bed. Now it's got some scratches on it, it's got some holes in it, and I'm not as worried about it anymore. So stay tuned to the next video. Thanks for watching.